Today we're going to investigate the problem on this 1995 Rialto, which is based on a Eurovan, about the problem that if you are in extremely hot weather, um, what you will happen is that when you open the gas tank, you'll hear just a lot of fumes coming out of there. That meaning there's pressure building up in the gas tank. So uh, what uh, I found is that you know, there's a tube that goes from the gas tank which goes to this evaporative container here. And this particular container only has one input here and then it vents to the outside wheel. So this is a little bit different because normally these things have at least three connections. Uh, these little nubs here are just for alignment and they don't connect to anything. And uh, what happens is that the intake manifold input is connected to a T out onto this single hose. See, there's only one hose that connects to that evaporative container, which I found confusing. And I found that uh, if uh, I blew in this end, the uh, it would immediately come out of this end. So this didn't seem to be blocked, although I think it at some point must have been blocked. So uh, when you shake this around, you should hear the charcoal rattle around. And I'm uh, hypothesizing that at some point something got jammed in here. Um, it's not filled with liquid or anything like that. But at some point this got blocked so that uh, pressure was allowed to build up in the system. Now I also checked it on this side here. So on this side, this is the hose that goes to the evaporative container. So what I did is that uh, there's a couple ways to test this. You can test the valve while you run the engine and uh, so you can put your finger over the this, this end of the valve and uh, yeah, over there, you barely see it. And uh, if you rev the engine, you should feel this start sucking. So. I had to rev it up quite a bit, but eventually it did turn on and I could feel uh, the suction turn on. So that shows that this valve works. Uh, then I put some air pressure into this side here. Now, initially the pressure was pretty high, like over 50 pounds. So maybe there was some kind of blockage in this hose, but I just kept on putting pressure in here. And uh, then I went over and I say it plugged up this other hole and then I checked to see when I took this out whether we got pressure out and we did so that proves that uh, the lines are clear all the way to the gas tank so I'm thinking that perhaps there was some blockage in those lines which I have perhaps cleared by pressurizing the line but there didn't seem to be anything went wrong with the evaporated canister and so I know now that there is a clear line between the gas tank to the uh, evap to the outside world so actually there should actually never be any pressure building up when i open that gas tank anymore so i will watch out for that so but hopefully that fixed my problem